efficiency virus. The H stands for human, which is pretty self-explanatory. HIV affects humans and only humans, no matter what their age, their race, or their sexual orientation. And only humans can get HIV, and only human beings can transmit HIV. The I stands for immunodeficiency. The immune system protects the body against new infections and fights off the ones that we have. Immunodeficiency is an immune system that isn't working properly. The V stands for virus. Now, without getting too scientific, a virus is a very tiny infectious agent that reproduces itself inside the host cells that they infect. There are many different kinds of viruses out there, like the cold, the flu, hepatitis C, and HIV. When germs get into our body, our immune system tries to get rid of them as quickly as possible. There are microorganisms everywhere. There's bacteria, there's fungi, and there's viruses. When we touch our eyes, our nose, and our mouth, these serve as entry points that viruses can use to get into our body. How many of you have taken public transportation, sneezed, touched a handrail, or used a public telephone, or even eaten something without washing your hands? Notice how often this happens and how easily viruses and bacteria can be passed on. A healthy immune system protects somebody against stuff like, well, stuff like that. No, thank you. It looks really tasty. That's disgusting. One way to describe the immune system is to look at it like an organized group, such as an orchestra or a soccer team. If the team captain were part of your immune system, he or she would be called the CD4 cell. This is a type of white blood cell. For our purposes here today, let's think of those in the white bandanas as the immune system. Think of white blood cells. And those in the plaid mismatching bandanas as team HIV virus. The immune system captain responds to what's going on inside the body and gives directions to the other players. The team captain cells respond whenever a virus or bacteria enter the body. They send signals to all the other immune system cells, which can then go and find and eliminate the germs. HIV is in some ways like many other viruses, such as the chickenpox, the flu, or a cold. The major difference is that HIV attacks the immune system itself. And the immune system is the part of your body that protects you from viruses, bacteria, and other germs. When someone is infected with HIV, the virus looks first to take out the team captain, CD4 cells. Once the HIV virus injects itself into a CD4 cell, it begins to make thousands of copies of itself until the cell bursts. And it continues to replicate until eventually it's impossible for your immune system to have a fair fight. HIV is especially dangerous because it infects the organizer cells, or the team captains. This means that your immune system can't respond as effectively to new germs that your body comes into contact with. As HIV breaks down the immune system, it becomes harder and harder for your body to defend itself against all sorts of infections. The flu that may last a couple of days for a healthy person may last weeks or even months for someone whose immune system has been weakened by HIV. So to recap, the human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, attacks your immune system until it's no longer capable of defending itself against all other types of infections. And don't forget, it can only be passed from human to human. Despite what a lot of people think, HIV and AIDS are not the same thing. AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Acquired meaning that it's an illness that comes from somewhere. 
Immunodeficiency, well, it's the same thing that we talked about before. It's an immune system that just isn't working properly. And a syndrome is a collection of symptoms. HIV is the virus that attacks your immune system, and AIDS is the illness that results. Over time, as the immune system is severely weakened, a person with HIV can catch diseases that a healthy person would normally not ever catch. These are called opportunistic infections, and once someone catches one, they are said to have AIDS. Once a person is infected with HIV, it can take an average of 7 to 11 years for them to develop AIDS, and this is without any treatment at all. HIV is the virus that attacks your immune system, and AIDS is the illness that results. With proper treatment, someone with HIV may never develop AIDS.